Hey guys, Sasha Bain Tech, and I've got Havoc's gaming keyboard. This is actually waterproof, so we're going to get this all unboxed. We'll take a look at it, get it all plugged up, and see how it performs. So first of all, you get a pretty decent package here. Got a cool logo here on the front side. It is a mechanical keyboard structure. 19 keys can actually work at the same time. It's actually pretty minimal packaging, so we'll just get it unboxed. Now, I don't have a gaming computer, but I am going to be building one really soon, so I'm really excited about getting this ahead of time. I'll kind of give it a test run, because I am used to the MacBook keyboard, so it's going to take a little bit of practice, if you will. So here we got some instructions. It looks like it's all in Chinese. Yeah, this is all in Chinese, so pretty useless for me. So right away, I'm going to notice that you get this nice corded kind of fabric material for the USB connection. So I like that already. Let's get this out of this wrapping. So let's go ahead and take a look around this real quick and then I'll get it all connected and kind of see how I think about it and how I'm going to use it with the MacBook up until I get my actual gaming PC. So it's all black. You do actually have some colors that you can choose from. And another cool thing about this is that it's waterproof. So if you spill any kind of liquid, it's kind of, it's going to put the liquid in all one direction. So it kind of veers it off in a different direction than actually getting it into the, you know, components and whatnot. So as you can see, you know, you got all your basic stuff here all the keys that you need nothing too out of the ordinary but I guess the main thing will be the design to take a look at for this review and kind of overview of what this keyboard is all about so you got a nice angled little rest right here so I like that on the back you do still have some ways to raise the keyboard up and down if you like to so if you want to even at a more of an angle you can do that you also have this little trail right here to where you can take this cord and guide it to whatever position that you want depending on your setup. For me, I'm probably just gonna leave it alone and I'm gonna feed it through my desk and it'll work out for my setup for that particular purpose just because I have a desk. And another little physical feature to point out is that you got the rubber stoppers here so it's not gonna slide around on you. So as far as the build quality goes, I like the design, I like the feel of it. It feels like it's durable. It's not like a cheap plastic feel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this all connected up and kind of give you my opinion of how it feels when it types and whatnot. So as far as my connectivity, I have this port here, this hole here that has all my wires coming through for the desk. I've got my pluggable 3.0 10 port hub and I'm gonna plug it into here so that way it's just ready to go whenever I plug my laptop back in. And that kind of keeps it nice, neat and clean. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. I can just kind of scoot this back to the position here. And then my pluggable hub, it actually plugs into the side of the USB port here. I've only got two slots on my MacBook, so that's why this comes in handy. I can plug up multiple USB devices. Like I've got uh, my 3.0 USB cable for my Note 3. And then I also now have the keyboard. Here's the pluggable. Here's the power. Then I have this here so that I can read memory cards. And then I got my mouse. Now, as I said before, I'm using a keyboard tray here. I got my mouse on this side. And something I'd like to point out to part of the build quality is that it's very sturdy. It's not shaking around. I don't see any wobbles or anything like that. So that's a good sign as well. So as far as the feel of the keys, it feels good. It doesn't have this obnoxious clicking sound, which I don't like loud keyboards. I'm kind of picky about that. But it has basically, I would say, like the normal like key tone I guess you could say but they all feel really responsive so it's it's a definitely a quality keyboard you got a lot of different functions on here it's gonna be good for your gaming uh, just normal kind of use for a keyboard typing documents whatever that you got to do writing up articles for your blog whatever the case might be what I like about having the keyboard tray too is like it's nice and It'll stow away, and you still have a clean desk. You don't have to have your keyboard on top of the desk. So while that's not a you know factor of the keyboard itself, it still adds to the experience. All right, so for this part, I'm just going to show you a simple typing message just to see how it performs and kind of give you an idea. I'm going to put the microphone by the keyboard so you kind of hear what it sounds like as well.
So for the most part, it works pretty good typing. And if you couldn't tell what I'm typing there, I, all I said was testing out this new keyboard. So far I like it, but it's still gonna get some used to because I'm used to using my laptop. So I had to do a little bit of a test. On the MacBook, I was trying to type out an email address and the at symbol wasn't working. Like anytime I hit shift and number two, the at symbol was not working. So I switched over to my Dell and it's working fine. I had to make sure that it wasn't the actual keyboard itself. So if you're gonna use a MacBook with this keyboard, you're gonna to have to go into your settings and configure the keys to make it run the way that you need to. It's not gonna be just plug it and play. Some of the keys might not work properly. So just to show you a little bit of gameplay action, I got Shadowgun Dead Zone on my MacBook, so kind of give you an idea of the responsiveness and whatnot. So just sit back, relax, enjoy a few seconds of some gameplay. So that's just a little example of just moving around in a game. I was moving left to right, I did you know, space bar. I was using actually the same review mouse that I did before with the Havoc mouse. So everything's responsive and I like it. It's a nice keyboard. I think it's definitely worth checking out. I have a link in the description of where you can find it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it that was helpful to you. If you thought it was, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this.